So guys, we are coming back to our videos, to our YouTube videos and uh, this time I'm going to do it in uh, English, uh, not in German, it's not that perfect. I wanted to do this video for the more advanced of you. So if before we've done videos in which I was dancing and the, everybody was repeating, was done more for the younger ones, this time I'm going to do some more uh, clear information uh, which has to do with understanding of the dancing and it's more referred to the small ones who are more advanced or to the older ones because our standard people had a bit less information in the last time so I think they started to feel a little bit like pushed into the corner so this time I'm going to offer you priority and do this in English and very explanatory so we explained last time uh, the points which we work when we are uh, fixing our posture yes I'm actually going to speak a bit more about the up part because we've done a lot, a lot of feet lately. So uh, we said that we are having a very clear center which uh, is being pulled in. So the first center is being pulled in, making the lower back very long. At the same time, these muscles have to be very strong and a little bit pushed forward. So they are not relaxed. They are a little bit trying to open the hips. Not too much, not too relaxed. Uh, if we are going towards the upper part, we are going to do everybody one uh, little um, preparation. And that's going to be the rolling of the shoulders back and down. Yes, when doing that is very important not to put the shoulder blades too much together. Though. So the, after this first movement of putting the shoulders back and down, there is the work of the shoulder blades placing a bit, uh, the, a bit forward. So the muscles between the shoulder blades, I wanted to say, are pushing the shoulder blades forward and that creates this wide spine. From there we're going to continue with the, um, we can do it with a swing, a bit of swing course of the chest and with the muscles of the spine, placing our arms to the sides, which are stretching and then from here we're closing the hands. The same happens for the ladies, just they are going to have a little bit more sway to, to the left or shape better to say so it's going to be like that right side is going to be forward i mean in this case right hip left shoulder blade forward we don't try to stretch too much and the same idea of the shoulders down and shoulder blades placing the arms and that should be our position we don't try to place too much the head to the left because that tends to take the left shoulder blade away. The hand, the head is looking at 10 o'clock. That's 12, 11, 10. 9 o'clock will be too little. So, exactly over there. Okay? And now, once we're going to fix that position, I want to uh, give you one exercise which has to do with the beginning of the swing. We all know that we we are designing the swing in the air, it goes like that, yes? So it's first going down and then going up. So it, we can create a kind of a roll, so to say, or a certain scoop, yes? Uh, that action, that movement down, I want us to do with our upper part. So we're going to do the next exercise. Preparation. Then from here, we turn one fourth to the left and then activating the knees, we're going to do one, two. And then we're going to prepare to the right and do the same thing to the left. One, two. And again, one, two. And again, one. Try to do it with me. And one, two, and one, two, and one, two, and one, two. What is important to pay attention to while doing this exercise is actually not to break sides, not and uh, not to break um, also the neckline. So we have to think that we are actually working first of all into the knees forward and then those knees create this inclination, this sway 
and then from there we are taking the good outside of the turn finishing then so the swing goes from down to up second thing where we have to coordinate is spine in relation to arms so my thinking is actually that I'm I'm actually turning the spine which brings the arms so something like this is not going to be accepted in that moment I have to be with my left side forward and the spine is actually indicating the direction of the movement we try to do that exercise one more time and then there's one more information coming so we try to do like in the natural turn first wind up and one two second one two third one two and together one two one two and the head one two and one two next thing the coordination of the head and i'm gonna split that into two um two parts first is the rotation and second is the sway of the head i'm going to start from from the sway of the head now if we stay here generally a very good way to think about the sways is not to think that we started from the head but to think that we somewhere move the knees to the left and do like a um, in lengthening of certain side and the head just follows so like this or like this never thinking to start here so everything that starts more up creates a bigger risk of discoordination we have to think always down so basically as I explained before our sides have to start let's say from the knee level and finish to here to this area and from there where there is another stretch going through the neckline to the head we always explain that the spine goes to so all the vertebras go to here where the uh, to this point yes so all that has to be straight right and therefore this 90 degrees angle 90 degrees angle and the cross must be there we will try to do that one more time and we think the head goes exactly with the spine three and one two 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 so yes well we have been actually many time many times being afraid of um, doing this double lower or lowering too much so i always have had to explain more of the swinging up actually rather there than going down and we always accentuate the fact that we first go down and then create a swing up but actually we have to see that we got a certain body coming over the legs and of course the body can go uh, more into this scoop creating this rolling action on the outside of the turn but there was one more thing it was the rotation of the head we shouldn't forget that so um, we see that very often there is a certain wind up or preparation step and then from there the head goes first that creates always a discoordination in the movement of course in the moment when there is a certain situation if you have to see somebody on the way of course, don't just stay there, oh, I'm not going to look just to be coordinated. Of course, you can do it, but then it's more like a, you watch and come back. Uh, and you still have to keep that diagonal or head spine, yes? But in order to train it, when there is no risk to have somebody in front of you, you should try to keep the head to the left. So thinking there is like a spiral. First goes the lower part, then body, head goes late so we're going to do considering this last information about the head one more time ready 
and one, two, 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 and it has the, the reason why I'm doing why we're doing it actually with the hands stretched is because it's much easier to feel when there is a certain uh, discoordination or the, the distance from the arm to the head becomes bigger because you actually feel that's more distance. If the elbow is very short, it's very easy to not notice actually when the, the position moves away from the spine, taking away the T letter. So it's very good actually sometimes to even train like the boys like that while the, the ladies are holding the man and trying to, to dance like that. Yes, so that was my first part of it. I wanted to explain the swing for the roll of the scoop and all of that coordination which happens while doing that, uh, that swing. Thank you.